Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I wanted to talk about how you can improve your playback performance on the timeline of DaVinci Resolve 18. So when you're working on either a low-end machine or something like 4K plus resolution, and you try to hit play and play back your clips, you may run into some slowdown, let me see, like right there, and it takes a couple seconds for it to get going, or it may not actually play at the full frames per second of the original video clip. So one very quick workaround to improve the performance is to go up to the playback tab, look for timeline proxy resolution, and change this from full to either half or quarter. Uh, what this is going to mean is that the resolution that your video plays back in this preview window is going to be lower than the original video clip. So when I have a 4K video clip and I render it at quarter resolution, it should be much, much faster now. So if I find a point in time and I hit play, we should be able to get a boost in the performance of the video playback. So another thing to check, especially if your computer has a dedicated NVIDIA or AMD card, is that in the DaVinci Resolve settings, you are optimizing it to take advantage of those graphics cards. Since it's a video program, obviously it needs a lot of video rendering. So let's go up to DaVinci Resolve at the top left, go to Preferences, and then Memory and GPU. Here, leaving GPU processing mode as auto and just letting it pick the right option for your computer is usually just fine. So you can see for my NVIDIA card, it's using CUDA processing, and it's automatically selecting the dedicated GPU, discrete over here, uh, as the main GPU for rendering in Resolve, which is what you want if it was for some reason using the integrated AMD or Intel chip, uh, that could very easily be much, much slower. Also, if we go to decode options, you may see decode H.264, 265 using hardware acceleration. So when I'm recording an OBS, a lot of times it'll just be a H.264 MP4 file as a really space efficient format for recording video. And using the NVIDIA card in order to make that playback better in the timeline would generally just be a benefit for you. So having these two checked should be a good boost in playback performance as well. Probably the best way to get better playback performance, though, is to take your original video clip and to convert it into either proxy media or optimized media. So if you find your video clip that you recorded in the timeline, right click it, and then you can come down here to either generate optimized media or generate proxy media. Uh, so they're really similar in that they will change your video format and possibly shrink the resolution on the clip that is going to play back in the timeline. Changing the format to something like DNX HDR uh, just makes it play back a lot faster. The cost of it is that those files on your computer take up a lot more space than something like a MP4 file that you might record. So just be aware of that, that these optimized formats eat up a lot of space. And my understanding is that a proxy media can be more easily shared um, to other people who may be working on the project as a separate file. You can just drag and drop, but optimized media. But otherwise, using either of these options is just going to give you a big playback performance. And to make sure that when you use optimized media uh, that it's going to work, go to the playback menu at the top. And under proxy handling, uh, you can see prefer proxies. So if there is a proxy linked to the project for that clip, then it will try to use that in playing it back in the timeline for the performance boost. And you can see used optimized media if available also here. Uh, so you probably want those both checked. And to generate it, you would just right click on the clip and then do generate proxy media. And now if I hit play and click around, you can see the playback performance is pretty much perfect there. So to know what format it's converting it into, whether you're using proxy or optimized media, you can go up to file project settings, uh, come down here in master settings to optimize media and render cache. And you can see the default format is DNX, HR, HQX. Uh, there's some other formats here. I'm not totally sure what the difference is. I just know that the default works really, really well. Uh, another format that you can actually use for Resolve to work really nicely is ProRes. Uh, so if you're like me and you're using OBS to record a lot, you can find the settings for recording in ProRes at File Settings and then go to Output and Recording. You would have to put this in Advanced Mode to see this. But if you go down to video encoder, you can see I have it set to MPEG right now, but you can scroll down on this list and find ProRes. So once again, though, just like the DNX HR format, ProRes consumes an insane amount of space on your computer. So you really have to have the room for it if you're going to be recording in this. Uh, you can always record as an MPEG and then convert it to the proxy media over here. 
And you don't necessarily need to shrink the resolution. You can just change the format. So if you go to File, Project Settings, and then you take the original proxy media, you can make this original. And same for the optimized media resolution as well. And if you want to know where your proxy media files are on your computer, look to the proxy generation location. So we can hit Browse here, Videos, Recorded. And if you want to see the proxy media files, then just take this file location down here. And so for the proxy media folder, the proxy files are going to be in kind of the same pile, are going to be in the same file path uh, to the file as the original, just within this folder. So if I have the stock clip in my downloads, I would go to users, Chris downloads, and then we can see the proxy files here. Or if I was creating a proxy of something I had in my recorded videos folder, I would just go into videos recorded and find that here and so you can see here though this is a 14 second video clip and it is taking up 780 megabytes on the computers so you may need to clear these files out frequently when you use them for a month or store them on some external hard drive with a lot of space and if after all that something is still really slowly rendering maybe you're just editing based off of the voiceovers instead you could resort to just disabling the video track in your timeline and just listening to the audio, because if it's not playing back the video, then that's going to be going a lot faster for the timeline. Um, I have done that in the past, working on really slow computers. So it, it is an option. So that's pretty much all the ways I know to boost your playback performance and the timeline for DaVinci Resolve 18. So I hope this video helped all of you out there. Thanks for watching to the end. I've been Chris, and I will see all of you in my future video content.